Hello, I'm Sharon with Flat World Knowledge, and welcome to our brief interview with Karen Collins, author of Exploring Business with Flat World Knowledge. Hi, Karen. Hi, Sharon. Well, without further ado, let's jump into our brief interview today for our listeners and start with the obvious question. Why did you write an intro to business book? Well, I've been um, developing, coordinating, and teaching an introduction to business course at Lehigh University for the last 12 years, and it's been um, an extremely rewarding experience. After I was teaching the course for a couple of years, I started going to to various schools and helped them put in a similar course. Um, Then I decided that I really would like to share my teaching approach with schools all around the country, and to do this, I would need to create a textbook package. The core of that package would be a book, and I wanted the book to be very interesting to students, you know, fairly easy to read, include examples that they could relate to. Um, I didn't see a book that met those requirements, so I went ahead and wrote my own textbook. (laughs) Great, and we're glad you did. Well, first of all, I feel great about publishing with Flat World Knowledge. Um, There's a lot of advantages. One is that students... um, have access to a free online text, and and I like that. Um, They can buy a print text if they want, but it's at a price that's substantially lower than their regular um, price of textbooks. For instructors, they can change the book so that they can make additions, deletions, edit it, and basically make the book their own. Um, But to me, the vital thing that's offered by Flat World Knowledge is that any instructor teaching the course knows that every student in the class has access to the textbook. And I got my undergraduate degree at night while working full-time during the daytime. And so I can understand how at certain times students cannot buy a textbook. Um, But with Flat World, that's not an issue. Um, and I think as an instructor, very, very important to me. And um, it was one of the main reasons I went to Flat World Knowledge to, to publish. Outstanding. You know, we know that your book, Exploring Business, is very flexible. Um, I understand that instructors can choose to use it in a variety of ways. For instance, they can teach with the core 16 Intro to Business chapters. Um, they could choose to teach with the Nike um, running case or even choose to teach with the business plan or any variety of those three things, mixing and matching those. Can you tell our listeners a little bit more about the Nike case and the business plan? Certainly. The, um, if an instructor decides to have his or her students learn about Nike, then this can be accomplished by reading 26 case notes. Um, you don't have to read have the students read all of those case notes, but they're, they're all available. And each case note provides a real-world example that will help students master a particular topic. For instance, say you're in the global chapter, then there's a case note that talks about Nike's international operations and how those operations have both benefited and challenged the company. There's a lot of other Nike stuff. We have some really neat Nike videos memo, debating assignments, end of chapter questions. We even have some multiple choice questions. The case is updated frequently, and we've used the case at Lehigh for the 12 years that I've been teaching the course, and it allows students to see the big picture. They get to look at a dynamic organization and and see how the various pieces of business fit together. If they decide to use the business plan, again, we have a lot of experience with that, because the course was designed around a business plan project. And I've probably overseen a a thousand um, team-prepared business plans. The project um, is woven into into the chapters. It's completed in 10 sections, and at the end, we help students pull it together as as a final plan. Basically, what happens is it's very coordinated with what they're learning. So, for instance, when they finish the marketing chapter, they will then do the the marketing section of their business plan. The one section that we found 
students had most trouble with was the financial section. So we, we overcame that a couple of years ago by developing what I think is a really good um, Excel template that not only helps students get through that section, but helps some of the faculty who may not have a, a strong um, accounting background. Outstanding. And speaking of that, and speaking of the faculty and instructors that teach with, with this book, how easy would you say it is to pick up and use this book for someone who would be, who would be new to it? Well, each semester I have about eight business adjuncts who teach for me and we're great friends at this point and have a have a really nice time working together um, but I want the sections to be consistent and so I've accomplished this through the preparation of teaching notes and other materials the the teaching notes are, are detailed um, but they're also flexible you can make changes in them and alter them to to fit your needs they don't eliminate class preparation, but they reduce it significantly. Um, reminds me of this um, faculty member who taught for me about, I think, four or five years ago. Um, his name was Dale, and he was a phenomenal teacher, but he um, had a bad habit of arriving on campus about 10 or 15 minutes before classes started. I knew this, and I knew that he wouldn't have prepared ahead of time so I used to meet Dale and literally walk with him, you know, down the hall, into the elevator and into um, his classroom, going over, just giving him a brief overview of the teaching notes. With that 10 minutes of my yapping at him, plus the teaching notes, he was able to, to cover all of the material that we wanted covered. So I don't recommend other people do that, um, or at least don't do it all the time. But I really feel that with the teaching notes, an individual can sit up, stand up in front of the class and really do a, a great job. And that's what I'm trying to accomplish with them. Um, just on a final note, for the time that I've been involved with Introduction to Business, it's been a really big part of my life. And my goal is to help others to enjoy teaching the course as much as I do. So one of my very favorite things in life is to help faculty as they're developing and teaching the course. So if anyone ever would like help, I would be delighted to hear from them. That's, that's fantastic, and that's a fantastic offer, Karen. Um, for you who are, those of you who are listening to this podcast, you can see Karen's email address in the catalog page for Karen Collins' book at flatworldknowledge.com and contact her from there. Karen, we'd like to thank you for your time and for all the hard work that you've put into teaching this course and writing this book with Flat World Knowledge. And for all of you listeners out there, have a great day and a great week, and thank you for your interest in Flat World Knowledge and Exploring Business by Karen Collins. Thanks a lot, Sharon. Bye-bye.